Well, I was feeling, you know, a little bit of Friday fatigue, but you just said the medical report thing. How important is that? Like, let's let's be honest now. I'm going to bring it over to the Clippers series. I'm sorry, I've got to do it. Kawhi Leonard had a meniscus tear. So that was that was obtained in game two. He was never going to return. He was never going to return. We all assumed that he was out for the series with a sprain, but why couldn't they articulate a meniscus tear? Okay? They, we knew. We knew what it was. Is it a game plan coaching thing, right? Is it a is it a betting thing? That's a real issue. So, you know, if Joel Embiid also has a meniscus tear and all of a sudden it comes to game one and it's like, oh, he's actually going to sit out of the series. What is it? What motivates us to deny us this information? I, I'll respond to you. And uh, I, I'm going to say firstly that it's, 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 a, it's a bit of a chess game, isn't it? Off the floor. Like, you know, if, if I was Philly 2 right now, and if I was the Clippers, I would definitely not be releasing, the you know, a clear picture on, you know, my star players and whether they are available, whether they're 100%, whether I knew it or not. And um, obviously, I guess there's some level of obligation and rules that you do have to declare who's available to play at a certain time and so on and so forth. And I think, look, I don't actually know the technicality here, but I would imagine that's several hours before tip-off that you would have to fi- submit your final uh, player availability uh, on, your, on, your, on your list or whatnot. Um, but, you know, you would leave the other team guessing to the very last minute. I think that's the that's a tactical advantage, really, for the team that has an injured or not injured player um, that is available or not available. So I don't think it's that shocking. Does it help the the betting fan? Does it help the punters out there that want to make some money? Well, absolutely not. But you know, that's not really uh, the organisation or the coaching staff sort of um, priority. Yeah, I, it's you know what? If we think about the fan, we think about the fan who's traveled to go watch their team in the playoffs to watch their star player who we would expect to be playing in that kind of series. And, and everybody in that organization knew Kawhi was never going to come back. And I just think, I don't know, the pros outweigh the cons business decision. You know, we, we talk so much about load management, but you know, Kawhi's situation is really transparent. If the series went to six games, then the report comes out after game six, when they lose, if it goes to seven, it comes out after that. If they win the series, we don't know when he's returning. It's day to day. You know what I mean? Like there is probably a tactical thing and that's what motivates most of this. But I think from a transparency standpoint, maybe there needs to be legislation about it in the league. Um, obviously, we both feel very confident <laughs> about Boston uh, because we I've lost sight of the topic. So I, I feel you're losing some big words here. Now you're putting legislation into our podcast. Uh, yeah. But, um, but, but yeah, look, I... I uh, you, you said it, uh, and uh, I'm a coach, and you, you've been a coach too. And from a tactical perspective, I'd, I'd be like wheeling out my injured players and sitting them on the bench and, you know, let the other team guess whether he's actually going to come on the floor or not and uh, let them waste their time doing their scouting reports and game planning, whether they actually need it or not. Uh, and I think that's really, from an internal perspective, the, the only priority you would apply in this situation and the compliance that you would need to meet for the league, which uh, I don't know, I'm a little bit curious now exactly what it is, um, you know, of course has to come into play, but you can still list a player on the bench or list a player on the playing list and not actually play him. So you could technically list Kawhi Leonard as a player available for the game, but then never put him on the floor if he actually has a next tier. But, you know, you, you've got him sitting there. Is he going to start or not? You know, I guess that's sort of, you know, I, I, look, I guess it's a, like I said, it's a bit of a chess game. And, um, you know, you, you're talking about fairness and transparency and, you know, balance. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think that's always, you know, realistic in this competitive nature of, of professional sport. This is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz, this is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our video a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. And if you've got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.